So we are kicking off today's video with already washed, cleaned, styled hair because we are going to go straight into diffusing today. Today I am going to be showing you how to diffuse your waves and curls if you're traveling, maybe you're on a budget, maybe your hairdryer broke, your diffuser doesn't fit your new hairdryer, just whatever may stop you from being able to diffuse your hair. Today I have the solution. <laughs> okay so for today's video and I think what is going to be the best option for this hack, you've probably seen this going around, it is using a strainer to diffuse the air. And if I am comparing the strainer to the Dyson diffuser, I feel like I, for my hair, I would prefer the strainer because it is just slightly more deeper and it has more space, it's bigger for my hair. So this is the before. First of all, before getting started, I kind of tested high speed, medium speed and low speed to see which one felt best and definitely low speed felt the best when doing this method. Typically I use high speed and I use high heat usually as well but I didn't want the strainer to get too hot. I didn't want to burn my head or my hair. So to begin with, I had it on low speed and low heat. I'm starting like usual and just diffusing upside down, diffusing my root and scalp area for two minutes. Then I tip all my head to the side, diffuse for one minute. And then I tip all my head to the other side and diffuse for another minute. At this point, it dawned on me that I felt like the strainer wasn't really doing anything. So you can see on this section of my hair, when I take the strainer away, you can really see how the air is kind of blowing my hair and pushing it. But when I put the strainer back in place, you can see that that stops happening. So this is definitely working to diffuse the air. I felt like it wasn't really doing anything, but it is. <laughs> and I then put all my hair to the back and diffused for one minute. Now I am about to do pixie diffusing and I wanted to test if all my hair fit in the strainer and it did but I feel like it would have been a bit too crowded so I decided to diffuse how I normally do by just doing two sections and diffusing one for one minute and diffusing the other section for one minute as well. Something that I enjoyed at this part of the routine was that the hairdryer wasn't just staying in one place I could move it around and feel like I got a more I don't know even distribution of air in there I don't know maybe <laughs> I really did not enjoy at all the fact that both of my hands were occupied the only thing that makes diffusing go quick for me is scrolling on Instagram and unfortunately today I wasn't able to do that so definitely hated hated that aspect Picked. I then flipped all my hair to the other side and pixie diffused again one minute per section. Another issue I found with the strainer is that sometimes when I was taking my hair out of it, my hair was getting tangled in the strainer, which um, that's not great. <laughs> No, and also my strainer is kind of breaking a bit and my hair was getting a little bit caught in there from time to time but honestly not as much as I was expecting when I was going into this. Um, I believe that you probably can get strainers that do not have the metal hooks on the edge like mine does and also you're gonna want to make sure that your strainer is metal not plastic just in case it melts. At this point I realized that my hair did not have enough gel. Normally at this point I do have a cast so I took some of the Weirdad gel which is what I'm using today because I did a review on that gel and absolutely loved it. It gave me amazing definition so that's why I'm using it again today. I thought that it would be good to compare my hair to that wash day. Um, So I added a generous amount of the gel back into my hair and I think because I don't know the air is so direct 
it's almost like it's breaking up my cast like normally at this point I have a rock solid cast already if I use this gel or tray looks or something I then went back into the diffusing I diffused upside down one minute per section I am worried if this routine is gonna give me more frizz because of the air blowing in there so strong so I do think that if you do this routine you should probably use strong hold products to ensure that you get minimal frizz especially if you are prone to getting frizz really easily now when I was pixie diffusing and I was taking my hair out of the strainer compared to how it usually looks while I'm diffusing my hair is significantly looser it actually reminds me of in my early wavy days when I was using the diffuser attachment that came with the old hair dryer that I had it wasn't great it was very small and this is kind of how my hair used to look really <laughs> I flipped to the other side diffused one minute per section again the other side and recently now with my new kind of wash day routine and also with it being summer diffusing has been much quicker for me lately and usually at this point my hair is done but I can still feel that there are damp spots here and there in my hair so at this point I thought screw it <laughs> and turning up the heat up the speed I'm done with this let's try and get this dry at this point I felt like it was gonna take forever and a day to diffuse so I did turn the heat up to medium at this point and luckily I didn't feel like it was getting too hot but I was scared because sometimes even if I just have a necklace on the Dyson really <laughs> seems to heat up my necklace and I feel like it's burning my skin so I was scared that the same would happen with the strainer but I think my hair <laughs> worked as a barrier <laughs> so yeah I went a bit crazy with diffusing the last round and and it still isn't completely dry. My hair is looking voluminous, but it is looking very wonky, very loose, definitely not as defined as other wash days, and my waves definitely start much lower down my hair. So I am taking a couple drops of oil and scrunching and fluffing this out, and so far I'm loving that my hair feels a little bit more voluminous compared to usual, and actually when watching the video back and seeing the back of my hair the definition actually isn't too bad I mean I'll take it <laughs> it is definitely if you compare it to today and the other wash day that I did using weirdad which I will insert a clip here just so that you can compare the two it is definitely looser and a little bit more elongated um so my final verdict is of course if you have nothing else to do then definitely give this a try my arms are tired now I will say that <laughs> but I don't know the experience wasn't super enjoyable it was tiring it felt like it took longer because I was just waiting for my hair to dry whereas usually I'm scrolling on Instagram so I think if I didn't have a diffuser I'd just rather do heatless curls or heatless waves or braids or something that would just <laughs> save me much more hassle but of course if I had no other option to diffuse and I really wanted to wear my hair wavy then I I definitely would use this and I think it can be definitely helpful for those that don't yet have a diffuser or are traveling because a strainer is going to be much lighter and take up much less space than the huge diffuser that I usually use. Another option is that you can actually get let me know in the comments have you ever given this a go before how did it go for you and if you would like to see more content from me me, then here are some videos a playlist that you might enjoy and I will see you next time bye